Hey guys, welcome to this Guild Wars 2 jumping puzzle. This is for the Hidden Garden. This puzzle is brand new to the game today. That's the 22nd of October with the Shadow of the Mad King content patch. It's uh, located in Mount Maelstrom. That's a level 60 to 70 area. And it's, it's a little bit more complicated than most jumping puzzles. So to start it off, you have to complete an event to open the portal. There are four events that can spawn in the zone and they're marked on this map as Earth, Light, Waves and Wind. At each of these locations, there's a chance for the event mob to spawn, and they're not always up, but if they are, you kill the keeper and uh, the portal opens and uh, you can start the jumping puzzle. So the one I'm heading to here is uh, Keeper of the Earth. Um, Basically, if, if you kill these two keepers, uh, you will open a portal and um, you can start the jumping puzzle. Just gonna kill these mosquitoes first. Um, I did have a go at killing each of the keepers, and um, they can all be soloed uh, reasonably easy. I say that, I mean, it's not super easy, but it shouldn't be a problem for, for any class to solo. But if you do bring a friend, it's going to make your life a lot easier, not just for these keepers, but for the whole jumping puzzle. Because uh, if you die, you do have to, um, or you seem to have to waypoint out unless I miss something and um, kill a keeper and enter the puzzle again. So if you've got a friend with you and you fall down and die for any reason, um, then obviously they can res you and it makes your life a lot easier and there are a couple of veterans in there you don't have to kill but um having somebody with you is going to help i went um you can see on my map it's uh, 2 p.m in the afternoon in european time but i'm on an american server so there was literally nobody at all in the puzzle even though it's uh least in it because it's like between 4 and 7am in the morning, I believe, in the States. So you can see that does count as an event. You do get some EXP and Karma and a tiny bit of silver for that, so um, you can kill those as an event, even if you just want some, some free stuff. So you have to click on the portal and enter, you'll get yourself a loading screen and you'll be teleported over to um, this area on, on the right hand side of the map, uh, Deirdre's uh, Steps. I'm just going to show you this map first of all, now this is a fairly uh, long uh, jumping puzzle, it's got four different keys. You need uh, the key of the earth, the key of water, the key of air and the key of the sun. You need all four keys to unlock the end chest. Um, I will show you exactly where to find each key but in case you're just looking for a, a small hint or to start you off, the key of the earth is underneath the tree here in the centre of Deirdre's steps. It's underneath the tree and you will need to fight earth elementals for that. Um, and then you head down here through the water and um, underneath the waterfall and you will climb some uh, leaves at, at this point and uh, you will get the key of water. And then I head all the way to the north following the, the left hand side um, and we go up these cliffs on uh, jumping up mushrooms to get the key of the air. And then finally back down to the centre and we have to climb this entire tree here to get to the very top for the key of the sun to unlock this chest. So let's get this started. I mean, um, this is the first time that I've done this. Um, I haven't done it before I am recording pretty much the first time that I'm doing it, so it may be a little bit messy and I kill a bit more than I need to. You can you can streamline it a bit yourself if you're, you're going straight for the keys. Uh, the first key is the key of the earth and we are aiming to get underneath the roots in this tree. So there's a few earth elementals to kill. Um, I'm going around here, you don't actually need to go around. Um, I was just sort of trying to scout out the lay of the land. Um, you can drop down anywhere through the roots, trying to avoid the veterans if, if you don't want to fight those. And um, the keys, they look like uh, big round globes. Um, if you hit control, they will they will show up with a name tag, like you can see this one here. So um, at this point, I'm just going to drop down and um, grab the key. I'm 
my god. Apparently I'm gonna drop down and get slightly raped, but that's that's uh, that's fine. Um, be aware that this key is surrounded by earth elementals. I didn't notice that before. I'm just gonna kill these and, and grab the key. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but um, so the elemental cluster glows with power. Take a piece, and now you can see I've got the candle of earth, um, aka a key. And that's the first one of four that we need. So I'm going to head south now and I'm going to get the cantle of um, water, or the cantle of sea rather. It's uh, just directly south of the tree. And um, to the left of the uh, mysterious portal here, which is an exit portal, don't take that if you don't want to exit, uh, is a waterfall and a little cave, so I'm going to head under there. And then on the very back wall you can see these leaves, uh, you just climb those up, it's a fairly straightforward climb, so just keep going up the leaves uh, until you reach the top of the cliff, basically. And then at the top here you see, see the cluster of waves and you can get yourself the uh, cantle of sea. So you've got your second key. Um, to get down from here you can either go back the way you went or you can um, just uh, basically... there's a veteran. You can basically just uh, leap off this cliff here because you're landing in water. I did get a little bit lost trying to find the next key so I've taken out those bits. But um, basically if you just follow this map sort of route north um, head uh, along the the west wall, the left-hand side wall, to the very northwest, and you will find um, a little cave with uh, some mushrooms and rocks at the back. These uh, mosquitoes, I can't be bothered killing things. So here's the cave, we're in the very northwest corner. And here's our mushroom. And we're going to climb up these rocks at the back. And then uh, head up the cliff, it's a fairly sort of straightforward uh, route. I'm going to wait for swiftness here because I'm a bit worried about this jump, but I'm pretty sure. You can make it without. I'm just a bit of a pussy when it comes to making big jumps. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that without swiftness. Um, so we head up the cliff. some leaves in my face. It's a bit uh, awkward here, but just keep following it up the cliff. Uh, if you fall down here, you will die, and you will have to start it again. Um, you, you don't want to do that. I'm just going to kill these quickly because I'm a bit worried about making this jump in combat, although I, I probably could. I really don't want to fall down again. 
So, um, yeah. Just head straight over these rocks. Then there's a whole bunch of these um, air elementals on the top, but the um, the cluster of winds is right there, so uh, you can run straight in and just grab your key. Which is probably the safest thing to do if you're on your own, just in case you die, you don't want to have to come back up this cliff. But you shouldn't die, these are just normal mobs here. Um, there are quite a lot of them though. So I'm going to go and um, just grab the key anyway, just in case. Because I don't want to have to do this again right now. So take a piece, and now I've got the kettle of sky. I called it the, the key of air. does seem to be a veteran lurking in the background, but it doesn't actually seem to uh, be interested in me. So, those are dead. I've got the key, and um, now we've got to get down from here. So, it looks like we can jump off here, hopefully. Oh, this is a long fall. But it's fine, it's water at the bottom, so we're fine. Now we've got three out of four keys. So now we want the last key, which is uh, the key of the sun. You can see where we are on the map here. Uh, we're looking for the base of a trunk. And uh, here we are. So we're going to head up this. And just uh, wander up the cliff. So here at the tree we find uh, Deirdre, who is um, guarding the chest here, and uh, she just gives you a bit of information, and she tells you that you need the four keys, if you didn't already know, but you should do by this point. So we want to head up um, the entire of this tree before we can actually unlock this chest. So we're basically just going to follow around the tree, it's, it's fairly straightforward, um, they're quite small jumps, so um, I would not recommend using swiftness, and uh, just follow the tree up and uh, jump on the mushrooms, the branches, try not to fall off. Oh god, don't, don't double tap roll if you can help it. I almost killed myself there. So now we want to just head up all these tiny little mushrooms. I'm not entirely sure if you can just walk from each one or um, if you need to make the jumps, but um, I jumped them just to be sure. This, this branch in the middle may well be walkable, I, I didn't want to risk it. Up we go. You get some really nice views from up here. And we can see the cantle of light here and we can get the um the sun key or the uh, cantle of sun as it were.
And to get back down, you can see there are some uh, diving goggles by here as well. So to wrap this up, you find yourself back at the base of the... T Ooh, my inventory is way too messy, but you'll see there's um, four keys in, in there. And you head back down to this chest. You can now open it. You'll get your achievement, hidden garden, and um, some loots. So um, thanks a lot for watching this uh, quite a long video. It's quite a fun and a really pretty jumping puzzle. I hope this video was helpful. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and have fun doing this.